Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Hardwell and Ben Immortal on Frozen Temple. In the top left side of the map we have the Red Protoss player, it is Hardwell, representing Armada. And in the bottom right side of the map we have the Blue Zerg player, it is Ben Immortal. This is from the Grand Finals of a 1v1 Grandmaster Tournament held on the StarCraft II client. It was sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com. I will not tell you who sent it, just so you'll not spoil, just so I will not spoil the winner. Ben Immortal apparently has a very low opinion of uh, himself. I lose to Diamond Terrans. Hmm. He's Grandmaster, so that's pretty bad, I think. But hey, let's see what happens here. Gateway first here on the low ground. <laughs> Hardwell says Protoss isn't Terran. Valid point. Valid point. Ben Immortal is doing what? Going for the hatch first play. There's a probe coming down to scout things out as well. Taking one gas is Hardwell. Not going for that second one quite yet. Ben Immortal says, holy smokes. That is so awesome. That is great news. I thought you were Terran. No. No indeed. This is in fact Protoss. Nobody's lying here. This is true news. And he sees the probe, so it's not like yeah, he's fooled anyway. But he could be fooled anyway. Drone coming on out. Is this a three hatch before pool play from Ben Immortal? Holy smokes, I think it is. Three, yeah, he's saved up. He's got that 300 minerals. Three hatch before pool against Protoss. I mean, yes, it is a gateway expand, so it's not like a one base play out of Hardwell. We'll see if this pays. Oh, no. Pylon went down first. Oh, it's so frustrating. So frustrating. I guess you take this base then. Is that where this drone is going? Yep, that would be the next logical place to take your third. If this one is just not available. Is he up at that finish? Hardwell lets it finish. Okay, Extractor into Spawning Pool. Lings will be here eventually to knock that thing down, but it's going to be a while. Probe going to try to kill this drone before the drone can take out the pylon. And you know what? Does force the drone away. So that's a good move there. Cybernetics Core on the way. I think we'll probably see an Adept or two. Maybe a Stalker. Get some harassment out on this Zerg player that tried to open up so greedy. And really did open up pretty greedy. I mean, yeah, he was forced to get the Extractor in the pool before his third by that nice pylon block from the Protoss player, but... In the end, what that means is there's really not much going to be coming out of here from Ben Immortal for quite some time. Yeah, there's the spawning pool, but I mean, production tab shows a queen. He has enough to make one more queen here in just a second, and he does. He's making a second queen. And what is this? Whoa, pylon, pylon. You don't have a forge, do you? I don't think you have a forge. No, that's just going to be... That's a photon overcharge. Oh, he forced the cancel. What? I guess Mothership Core is heading on over. That pylon is going to finish. Probe going to knock that thing down. Ben's got to be so annoyed right now, just absolutely annoyed to all out, like to all ends of the earth. Mothership Core heading back on in, not necessarily needed anymore. And again, this is still up. You're making any lings? You do have some lings. Go kill this pylon. Go kill that pylon. Nothing's going to stop you from doing it. Okay, so Ben says, here is my third. This is my third attempt to get a third. I hope Hardwell is not going to do anything untoward at this point. In production is nothing. I mean, there's an adept here. Adept is heading out to try to kill some stuff, but there's a Twilight Council on the way for Hardwell. Speed coming up for Ben Immortal, and another pylon on the way. Hardwell really wants to win this thing with forward pylons, or like Mothership Core Photon Overcharge pylons. Alright, here's the deal. You gotta kill that thing. Ben, make some links. He has 10 links on the way. They should finish at about the same time that Speed does. So if they can get here before the Mothership Core does, I just don't think they can. The timing doesn't really work out. Hmm... So how do you do this if you're Ben Immortal? You don't really want to saturate this because that pylon's a huge danger. If you come and try to kill it, it's going to get photon overcharged as well. There's the ping pong ball coming out of the Mothership Core. Just not much damage whatsoever. It's 8 damage, which, you know, doesn't seem like a tiny amount until he gets 22 off of the Adept uh, versus Light units. The Lings decide not even try to save this thing. They're going to let the third base do what it does. Again, Mothership Core can't really kill it. Adept, Adept can't really kill it. Although maybe they can here. That health is looking pretty darn low. Lings try to get on through. There is a single Adept. Attack the Adept. There it is. Three Lings can attack that Adept. She will die very shortly indeed. She'll get some kills, mind you. But that is about it. And get up that ramp. No. Mothership Core recalls home. Okay, so that's pretty good. But the Lings are still killing probes. They are still killing yet another Adept there. Probes are forced to run for their lives. There's nowhere really for them to go. Mothership Core shooting from above. Ling's trying to knock down pylons. Ling's taking down cybernetic scores. Hardwell may have overextended just a little bit here. Ben Immortal is out for some blood right now. He is absolutely tearing through everything, killing probes. Taking down the cybernetic score. If he can get the cyber core, that. No, 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 no. Get the cyber core. Don't worry about the Nexus. 
Uh, I mean, I guess uh, they're fairly even targets here. Looks like he might be able to get both anyway. There's a sentry there. There's a couple of depths. He might, yeah, he's going to get the Nexus and the Cyber Core. Really no problem there whatsoever. And that gateway just to boot. These Lings did knock down that pylon. This one is still up and running. Lings trying to go up the ramp. Do kill a couple more probes. That is 19 probe kills. And some Lings get inside. What? I thought that was a full wall off. Nope. Nope. Lings get picked up in this drop lord and then just drop on in was wait 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 Did those lings come from the drop lord initially is that what that was ah they were so he drop lords while doing this this protoss player is in a lot of trouble right now you guys huge amount of trouble lings trying to kill stuff there's two adepts though two adepts can clean up this number of lings without any problem whatsoever two of them three of them do manage to get evacuated and they head on out there queen with the inject come on ben I believe in you, man. I know it's been really crazy. There's the inject, and another pylon gonna die. Resources lost here definitely favors the Zerg players. It's basically 2,000 to 1,500. 19 workers killed. It's 26 to 23 harvesters, though. Ben cut a lot of workers to make that work and canceled his third. So now he's double expanding. Essentially, it's two base to one base, which is exactly where the Protoss player wants to be. I mean, for having lost your natural, if you're essentially one base to two base against the Zerg, got to feel okay about that. And especially considering the worker count is 26 to 21 right now. All these lings have got to do something or they're, I mean, these could be drones is the problem. Photon overcharge up. Sentries have force fields ready to go. They did not prematurely set them down. I'm going to elevator on up into the main base using this drop lord. And look at that. Doesn't even have to move hardly at all. Unloading again. Do, 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 do. And hatchery. Hatchery. I just don't see anything else really coming out of here for Ben Immortal. Is he going to try to win this thing straight up with Lings? He is. He's getting right in this mineral line. There are some Zealots waiting. Good force fields here. These Lings are getting absolutely massacred. Massacred. But these Lings got through those Zealots. Okay. They're killing more and more of these probes. There's really nothing here. Okay. Two Adepts warped in. And the probes are going to fight for their lives. Which means some of them will die. But it does help kill the Lings a little bit more quickly. So 22 to 24 harvesters now. Somehow Ben Immortal has managed to take the lead there, I guess, by killing 25 probes in the first six minutes. I mean, to kill 25 probes in the first six minutes and still just have a barely, very, very small lead over your Protoss opponent probably can't feel too fantastic, but that's A-OK. -okay. Ling's starting to move on out across the map again. Ben, do you have upgrades at least? Yes, he's getting plus one carapace. He is getting a Roach Horn. He's not trying to win this thing straight up with Ling's, which I know just doesn't work. After a certain point, these force fields, uh, again, just really intimidating for the Lings. You force field them in, you kill them with the Adepts, you kill them with the Sentries. Don't come out here, though. What are you doing coming out here? Oh, loses a Sentry, loses another Sentry. You can't keep doing this, Hardwell. Oh, another Sentry dies. That is so much stuff dying. 3,500 resources lost by the Protoss player. 3,000 lost by Ben Immortal. That's mostly going to be Lings, though, is the thing. Which are, you know, they're minerals. You really don't want to lose gas, but losing minerals not a huge problem. Making a drone right now is Ben Immortal. Two? Oh, two at the same time. And two probes. So, boop, Overlord explodes thanks to the shooting up ability of the sentries and this single stalker that is mixed on in right now. Lings trying to get more of these sentry kills, and Guardian Shield comes up. I don't think that has any bearing here whatsoever. Lings on the left side desperately trying to do what they can to do. They're forced to retreat, though. How many sentries have died in this game? Let's take a look. Five. Whew, five sentries have died. That's a lot of gas for the Protoss player. Is he moving out? Looks like he's moving out. He's bringing his adepts. He's bringing his sentries. He knows the Zerg player doesn't have a whole lot because he keeps sending these huge waves of units at him. He doesn't have a ton of workers. He doesn't have a giant army. And here we go. Ling's roaches. Just a handful of them. I think Ben Immortal is in a lot of trouble here. Guardian Shield is useful against the Roaches, not again against the Lings, but the Lings trying to get a surround while the Roaches attack everything else. Killing one Adept, a Roach does end up falling there. The Stalker doing excellently against these Roaches, especially if no one is hitting it. The Roaches do get taken down. Some more reinforcements coming in. 26 Lings on the way. That should be enough to clean this up. Hardwell has some limited time here to kill some drones and maybe kill some Overlords. There he is, going after the drones. Recognizing a Day of Reckoning is probably coming. At this point, force field. Ah, keeping the lings away. Oh, mostly keeping the lings away. Oh, unfortunate there. Queen getting some shots in her face as well. Weird kind of spastic force field right now. But eventually, yes, Ben Immortal does manage to clean it up. APM for these guys, about 300 each currently. So they are definitely at this GM level. It's barely saturated here. Nothing happening here. 
Uh, it's 40 to 39 harvesters. 25 probes have been killed. Eight drones have been killed. Lings, speedlings again. Speedlings against adepts. If they can get a surround, are not shabby. As we can see, two adepts dying, still continuing to pursue. Photon overcharge, great though. These links forced to retreat. Roaches pushing on up, just a small handful. This is such a low econ game, it's insane. We're not seeing the huge battles we expect in StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. It's very just small level skirmishes consistently throughout the game. Roaches trying to hold their own. Adepts are dying, focusing down the centers. I feel like it's a good choice. Lings got inside. Oh no, Lings are in your mineral line again. This base has got to be cursed. Roaches here assisting as well. Are there any immortals on the field? There's a robotic facility on the way, but it's not done yet. Force field trapping the roaches inside. And a photon overcharge double. Photon overcharge going to clean these guys up. No big deal. Happily mining over here are the probes that evacuated from the nat natural base. It's oversaturated, but it's better than dying, I suppose. And here comes Ben Immortal continuing with this pressure of lings and roaches. Slowly saturating. Is at 44 workers, which is good on four bases. Not ideal. But it is good, and no more upgrades, mind you. This carapace, the only thing that he has, yeah, plus one ground carapace. Oh, this is a lot of lings and a couple of roaches. They might be able to take down this robotics facility before the first immortal can come out. Can he? Oh, absolutely, no problem. Boop, there it goes. Canceling that immortal, getting your refund as the Protoss player, and Ben Immortal feels like that is a good day's work. I'm going to head back home. Hardwell doesn't really want to engage anywhere in the middle of the map there. Who knows where there are more lings re uh, creeping about like this. 16 lings on the way for Ben. He's already lost 202. And he's got 22 out here. I, I Drone up, man. He's got five overlords, which is good. Getting plus one melee attack, which is good because you're making a ton of zerglings right now. Photon overcharging his own pylon so that people can actually get out of sight of his base. It's a sad thing, but it could be worse. Ling's coming in again. Ben Immortal for the 18th attempt at this Ling stuff. Roaches getting their stuffs off too. Again, I feel like targeting the sentries is the way to go. And yeah, sentries are definitely dying here. It's just Hardwell replaces them pretty much immediately after they die. Roach versus Adept is a surprisingly stalemate uh, matchup. Just where the Roaches don't necessarily kill the Adepts very fast, but the Adepts don't kill them very quickly either. Which just means they're good tanking units. The Adepts are good at tanking for other stuff that actually does damage, like Stalkers. Probes, again, to force to fight for their lives here. That's not something they want to do. That's not something they signed up for. But they're doing it anyway, by golly, because otherwise they will die. 38 probes have been killed. It's 53 to 38 total harvesters. Ben, just continuing with Lings. Continuing with any roaches on the way. You're just gonna, again, this is insane. Lings get inside the natural base, killing more of these probes there's no mining going on here whatsoever i guess there's one probe that is still alive the lings trying to hold position decided to sweep on into the main base full retreat of probes again hardwell has been under assault this entire game you kind of got a feel for him man he's lost 47 workers in the first 12 minutes of this game another ling run by what's the reaction time on that mothership core pretty good pretty good i'd say maybe taking on that pylon would have been the way to go but that's okay they instead are just getting shot in the face and running away. Is that a full wall? It is a full wall, but pylons don't have a lot of HP, especially when they're building. Again, the army for Hardwell looks pretty good, and these little handfuls of lings I just don't think are enough. Enough to win the game for Ben Immortal. I just This feels like one of those games where the Zerg player is super aggressive in the early game, and it looks really bad, but then Protoss kind of comes back and swings on in and gets it done. But we'll have to see. That's why we watch the games. 13 minutes in here. Army supply is currently about 2,600 for Hardwell. And about 1,700 for Ben Immortal. So definitely on the low side of things. And this, the longer he goes for Lings, I just don't know. I mean, there are Zealots mixed in here now. They don't have any upgrades. I don't think Hardwell's really had any time to do that. Lings coming in again. Great reaction time from Ben Immortal, though. Or from Hardwell getting his probes out of there before any of them could die. I think he saved every one of their lives with his good reaction time. We should make a commercial about that. Meanwhile, 53 to 34 Harvesters having a 20 worker count lead is pretty good. In StarCraft 2, I'd say pretty darn fantastic indeed. Ling's here trying to kill some stuff. Ling's swinging around the left side. Trying to be sneaky, attacking on multiple fronts, which is something Zerglings are good at because they are fast. Roaches, I don't know why you guys are here. You're just going to die without really accomplishing anything at all. Yep, and they did. They should have come back home with the Ling's. So everybody is kind of rallying down here. There is the, mm, the plus one carapace. I still don't see any upgrades here. Spore Crawler on the way for Ben. Did he see a Stargate I'm unaware of? Structures. Nope. No Stargate. Two robotics facilities, five gateways, so not the hugest amount of economy right now. But again, the pressure has been absolutely insane on Hardwell. 50 probes have lost their lives today. It's 44 to 47. He's making up that deficit, ladies and gents. 
making it up here. Spine crawler there. Worried about some kind of a counterattack. Is Ben Immortal, which I can't necessarily blame him for. The Protoss player really should think about mounting something if he has a few Immortals. He does have two on the way to add to the one that he already has, making three. Hallucinated Phoenix heading on out just to scout and see exactly what he's dealing with. And this is just a lot of Zerglings. Plus two, plus one now. And the Lings getting that surround. No, they don't get the surround. They do get a couple probes, though, which is nice. They do kill a Pylon, which is nice. They don't really want to engage. But they do want to kill Warping and Units and Force Fields, trapping some of the Lings inside. They might as well attack, but their AI is kind of bugging out. Lings, Roaches, this is a good composition for Ben and Immortal. Good Force Field there, but the Sentry ends up falling. Roaches getting a surround. The Immortals should be enough to deal with this, but I think they are just outnumbered so severely. Meanwhile, Lings taking down the Gateways once again inside this natural base, absolutely massacring it. More Lings coming on in now. It's 45 to 41 Harvesters, 120 to 63 total. Supply. Again, this is for a 1v1 Grandmaster Tournament. This is the Grand Finals. If Ben Immortal wins this thing, he wins the trophy. So here we go. That's it. And that's a CGG from Hardwell. Hardwell is defeated and Ben Immortal is victorious. That was the craziest Ling Roach win versus Protoss I've ever seen, especially at this level. I can't believe he did that. I mean, I guess the big thing is he killed 77 probes. 77 probes in the game. 50 when it really mattered. I think that last attack did kill some probes, but I think he had it one anyway. I mean, just absolutely nuts. I feel like maybe Hardwell, I don't know if getting his probe count back up was the priority of what he wanted to do, or just maybe crank out Immortals to deal with all of these Roaches. 28 Roaches were killed. Three Immortals were killed. In the end, there were 18 Roaches left over. So it was just, it was just macro. It was just continued pressure. Hardwell had a hard time with it. Ben was under pressure early, but... Uh, made it pay off in the end, and somehow won with Speedlings and Roaches in a 15-minute Legacy of the Void game. Never thought I'd see that. All right, so that's it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.